I think what you're seeing actually right now is there, these two parallel worlds. In one world, you have um, exclusive content, often paid content, like HBO. And then you have a parallel universe of YouTube and, and Facebook where there's lots of non-exclusive content, but it's very optimized based on what, what you might be interested in. And those two universes are competing for people's time. And so you end up seeing you know, a pretty interesting thing where someone is having to decide, oh, do I want to sit and watch Game of Thrones for two hours? Or do I want to sit and in my Facebook newsfeed or watching videos on YouTube where none of the individual pieces of content have the production value or the storytelling quality um, of, of the Game of Thrones or of the professionally kind of produced um, work. But each piece is perfect for you and it's tied into what your friends are looking at and there's lots of algorithms and math that are, that are, that are making predictions about what, thing, what you're most likely to, to, to want to see. Um, and increasingly you're seeing, particularly with young people, they're, ch they're choosing that second world. But there's still things that, 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 that you know, Facebook or Twitter can't, do, can't compete with um, when it comes to these kind of longer form storytelling. And so I think you're seeing a pretty interesting time in the history of storytelling in that these two um, very different worlds are both very compelling and, and people are spending huge amounts of time on both.